Welcome back to ESA Winter 2019. You are about to watch Celeste 100% Relay by two really amazing teams. I hope you enjoy. Okay. All right, so it's time for some Celeste. Uh, my name is Fuzzy and I'm here with Psyched, Blue Eye and Moose. And we're going to bring you the 100% uh, category of Celeste. Uh, we're going to let uh, Blue Eye and Psych take over for the most part. Me and Moose are going to run the A side, so they're going to do most of the explaining uh, during that part. Uh, and we hope you have enjoyed the marathon and we enjoyed the run as well. Yep. So, let's get this going. Can I so. just yeah. uh, give yeah. you the good luck you got wished by Tisame with a $10 donation before? Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> we'll need it. What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Count us down. All right. In three, two, one, go. All right, so we did say it was a 100% category, and we will be splitting up the teams in the A and B C sites. So these guys will full clear all the A sites, get all the the, the hearts, the berries, the tapes, everything, and uh, then we'll swap to us. Um. So we're currently in the prologue. We didn't learn how to dash yet. Uh, we can only bunny hop to save some time. Yeah. Uh, Usually you would see that we learn how to dash, but uh, in, a, in the recent patch they patched in that you can skip the cutscene and yeah, yes. now we're entering the city. Someone found a frame perfect trick to skip it, so the devs just added the cutscene skip for everyone. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. So now that we can dash, we do a lot of interesting stuff with our dash. Um, mostly just cancelling the dash by, by jumping and preserving the momentum from the dash. And you can do that in all kinds of directions, along walls, along floors, pretty much everywhere. Where there's floor, we can dash and gain momentum. Such as, for example, here. And we're already at five berries. So this first chapter is going by really fast. There's 20 berries to collect here. Um, most of them are really short screens. And, and it's actually so close together that we take some safety strats in collecting the berries to make sure we don't lose any because if you die with a berry on your ass and well you gotta get it you gotta go back to grab it and that's kind of slow yeah and the problem is sometimes you can't go back for the berry and we really hope that that doesn't happen because then you have to quit out and uh, restart from the checkpoint to get the berry so the, r the runners might go for some safe strats for certain berries to collect them before uh, they oh. go past one of those points. Yeah, so Moose right now is going to input a dash combination in order to solve the puzzle and get the first heart. Oh, that was my bad. So you can start this combination anywhere on the screen as long as your final dash is near the heart uh, yeah. to complete the puzzle. That's the reason why they dash in a very weird manner. Mm -hmm. You guys might want to explain the uh, like your extended and reverse dashes as well? Oh yeah. So when you dash and then cancel it with a jump, if you delay your jump long enough, you actually stay on the ground for a long enough time to regain your dash and then you can use that one in the air. So it, uh, sometimes it looks like we have two dashes. We just extend, basically ex quote unquote extend it to get a second one in the, in the air. Yeah. And you see the, the runners go, they do really fast jumps. Which is not required at all for all the A sides and the B sides. You get that. You get uh, the game teaches you that in the last level. Uh, but we, of course, we use it to go a lot faster through all of this. Yeah. Kind of neat how you play through the game. You think you did a pretty good job. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> yep. But and then uh, after a few really hard levels, they teach you like, you, did you know you can you know go fast? Well. So we're coming up to the, the first tape here. And all these tapes have a cycle music-based system where the, the blocks are timed to the music in the background. But um, we sadly, we don't get to hear that music. Yeah, and you need to collect those tapes to be able to enter the B-sides. Yep. Which are basically harder versions of the A-sides. So... You, that, that, that barrier that Moose just got was slightly different than the others. It had a pair of wings. And basically what that means is that you cannot dash in the screen because then it will fly away and be scared. So you have to find a way to not use your dash before you get to it. Oops. 
And honestly, there's so much happening at once, it's hard to sometimes just point out what's happening. Yeah, we kind of have to pick out some strats that we explain, and because there, there's so much happening, especially when you're racing at once, you can't explain everything. Mm -hmm. And also there were some uh, retries here that were not because someone messed up, it's just they were on purpose. That sometimes it's faster to retry and go back to the respawn position, especially since we use in-game timer. Yep. Both runners have uh, completed chapter 1 now. Moose is already going for the heart in chapter 2. Yep. And usually you would save and quit here, or restart the chapter because it's faster, but we decided that we won't do that to not interrupt the, the game flow and also not desync the in-game timers too much. Yeah, our reward is a little star in a journal. <laughs> exactly. For, for, for full clears. It does basically nothing. It's not re required for the category, but it's just nicer to watch, I guess. Mm -hmm. So in chapter two here, we... <laughs> Do first do a little bug where we warp into this block and we now unlock the dream blocks. And they are basically sort of a dash extend where you enter them by a dash and just then just keep going. And uh, you have to exit and not hit a wall because you'll you know kind of splat. And also like how when you collect berries, you see this like this score, and that's actually tied to one of the in achievements. And uh, I won't spoil how to get that. But uh, is there's a Mario hint in there? I think this game has a couple of Mario hints. A couple. Yeah, a couple. Also, just a couple of uh, nice Easter eggs too, like like literally two. Is there just two? I think yeah. That's yeah, it's true. just two. <laughs> Also about berries, um, sometimes you, it might look weird when we're not collecting them. Uh, you actually have to stay on like safe ground for like things 9 frames in order yep. for, to actually collect them. And sometimes that's very hard to do for some reason. <laughs> 9 yeah. frames does not sound like a lot, it can be a lot. Especially when like things get fast in this game. Yeah, like especially in a marathon setting you have to hold back a little bit to not lose berries because then you have to go back and get them if you die. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Barely made it. Nice. This is a tight cycle. Because uh, we have our evil goth twin. Our anxious <laughs> version of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. That's a new one. Yep. Sure. That works. So it's like um, she's chasing our exact movements That's with a three second delay. So whenever you're backtracking what? through a screen, it can be annoying to um, avoid her. There we go. As we'll see in... The Soon in this screen on Moose's side. If you've played, uh, I think it's Super Mario Galaxy has uh, yeah. basically Shadow Mario that does the same thing. Yeah, yep. exactly. That's the one. Uh, so I guess there's three Mario references after all. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Huh. It depends if you see it as a reference. I'm not sure, but I'm probably probably not the first thing to do or like the first um, game to do that. Probably not. Okay. Please, this barrier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that is good. Okay. Nice. Good save. Uh, yeah, because again, normally you would just have a berry train behind you, and if it went wrong, you would reset. But of course, we cannot reset the. the key. Especially in chapter one and two. Well, we could, but you know, we lose. Yeah, in chapter one and two, you have you can it can easily get like four or five berries almost. No, in if normal you runs, you would just collect, like collect them behind you and then do like all of them in one bunch. Should we mention? Oh, that's not good. Dream hypers oh. or. Do we save uh, those for later? We, well, we have a Dream Hyper coming up soon, so we might as well go. Yeah. Or oh, you already did it, actually. Mo Moose already did one. <laughs> I'm so behind. Due to, like, is it Coyote timing why it yep. works? Of course, Pretty for sure. those who don't know, Coyote timing is uh, when you can still jump even though you've left the platform in order to keep that game feel going. And um, you can, we use that to actually do a Hyper Dash right after exiting a Dream Block. Oh, whoop, that's not good. Oh, very nice, nice first try. Yeah. Uh, that's a very precise take trick. Like even though there are spikes, you can still jump on like that little corner. Which yeah, a little, is not little bit of wall. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see it again from Swessy soon. Let's yeah. give it minutes. And we're done with <laughs> chapter two. Well, at least on our side. That's rude. <laughs> I mean, what you've already probably noticed is that the runners uh, died during the run, and that is. 
absolutely fine. This game is really hard, especially if you go uh, try to go fast. Yeah. Uh, the current current world record by uh, Nero Nero X two. Uh, oh, that's not good. Actually, has like I think eighty one death, uh, deaths in it. Yep. So you die a lot in this game. That's with some are intentional, some are yeah, Some are intentional. Yeah. Like 20 are intentional. Oh, okay. That's oh, okay. What so happened? That's the thing that can happen. <laughs> what happened there is uh, Swashy tried to do uh, a hyper dash there, but he actually hit the corner instead of the ground. Uh, and uh, then you lose all your speed because instead of jumping from the ground, you do a wall jump. That's what we call a corner fuck. Yep. <laughs> and just the word, just the word, fact that the word is called corner fuck should tell you how much that, how annoying that thing can be. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's really like, it's the thing where if you go for it, you will never get it. Yeah. It just happened randomly <laughs> for no apparent reason. It's just like, well, shit. Well, if it's you're deliberately this way going now. for one, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, <laughs> that's fair. So, Moose has been in resort for a while now, and you might have noticed that. We, there are a bunch of cycles in this chapter. Um, many consider this the first actual difficulty spike in the game, but since we're collecting berries, that's sort of different. Because the berries are like the added difficulty to the level. Okay, oh, so Swessy is going for a very precise strat here. Yep. Let's see if he gets it. No. It's, it's pixel uh, perfect. So yeah, it's see. pixel perfect. It's super hard. It saves a couple seconds, but sadly he wasn't able to do it. Mm. We'll see some demo dashes later. So what basically happens there is you can go through those uh, dust bunnies, it's, is what they're called. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like a four pixel space between them. And there's a technique called demo dash where you uh, dash in a crouched state and then you're exactly four pixels high. Uh, and then you can actually go through there, but it's pixel perfect, it's super precise. Oh. And you can't expect the runners to get yeah. that. Oh. There are some uh, other trick, other like places that use demo dash where it actually has proper setups. That's not one of them. Yeah, <laughs> that was like setup less, and it's close to. I think it's even frame perfect. Yeah, Possibly due to the fall speed yeah. in that case. Most people know the demo dash for a little bit later in this chapter, but due to oh having to collect the berries, we don't do that demo dash. So in any percent, we would do it there. So there's a total of 175 red berries uh, in the game. And I'm saying reds because there's more than that in, in total, but those don't count for 100%. Yeah. So there are already like golden strawberries that you can collect after all of the sites are completed. Yep. And, and it's just doing a deathless, which to 100% run doesn't really add much. Okay, that's good save. Um, so that's, it's a, it has its own category called 200 berries is now. Yeah. It's changed name several times, I think, or at least once. Yeah, the developers didn't really want people to go for those in order to feel like they beat the complete game, so they made them extra berries. Because they're really hard. Especially in the later chapters, that oh are yeah, kind of sure. long. So, um, Psych, like you want to do a huge mess? Uh, sure. Sure. So, uh, Moose <laughs> is currently in this section uh, called Huge Mess. And we r pretty recently found a new route for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, w because we found, I don't actually know who found that. I think Demo found, he found everything. Yeah, it, <laughs> Demo found everything. So, so, so Demo found like a death warp you can do. You have to get the heart here, uh, because it's 100% obviously. Mm -hmm. And after that you can leave the room, re-enter the room and basically kill yourself through retrying. Yep. And the game doesn't really know where to put you. So it just puts you to the next respawn point. The closest one. Yeah, yeah. the closest one. Which is not in the room. Like, not really in the room you're in right no. now. You're going to see it very soon. In around 30 seconds on Moose's screen. Yeah, because in Huge Mess we are cleaning up um, the boxes, books and towels in this section. And by pressing them, the big buttons. And this uh, skips like a few rooms of that. Yeah. So usually after each of these sections, you would have to go talk to Mr. Shiro. Yep. Um, and go through the huge mess part, but here it just skips like a whole part of it, which is very nice. What the? F okay. Sure. <laughs> also, like to get the heart, you have to backtrack a bit through a secret exit. It's a secret. Yeah. Basically, hearts it's are right all here. secrets. Right They're here. really hard to find in the casual playthrough. Yeah. You have to really look for them. 
Yeah, th this is like the first heart that gets thrown into your face, yep. as and in like, you know, bam. and there it is, the yep. warp. Pretty good. Moves we tried and just, you could just get spawned up there, even though you weren't even there yet. Yeah. So and it only saves time in chapters to actually get the heart, so like, um, basically 100% in all hearts, all chapters. Anything that is and not any percent, pretty, pretty much. Pretty much, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, our ARB can do a different heart, but... Uh, I think this one's faster with the new round. Possibly? Yeah. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. But anyway, it's, fa it's fairly new. This is the chapter where the game's like, you know, there's hearts you can collect. You might want to do that. Just because they really throw it in your face. Like the location, but not how to get there, obviously. Yeah. Coin room. <laughs> coin room. <laughs> Everyone loves coin room. Yeah. Death war. Oh. That's not quite right. So this is where you would demo dash in any percent, but we need Sadly, we can't do that. We cannot do it. Category. Well, you could, it but that back. Could. you could. If you want to swag, you could. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it, it loses like 10 seconds. You should yeah. really shouldn't. <laughs> no. Also, we get to see Quad Hyper Room, which is very hype. Hyper. Oh. Both ways, even. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> um, I apologize. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, we could. You could go fight a top way, but nah. 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 That's low. That's slow. Let's do that instead. Yup. So what moves just did was one of those intended deaths. It just respawns you closer to the berries you have to collect if you respawn at the beginning of the room. Yeah, and it makes the cycle consistent. Yeah, and also that. Uh, when you respawn in any room with cycles, the respawn animation kind of shifts the cycles around, which uh, we call death cycle. And sometimes that is just more consistent to do. But. Also, I think in that particular room, it's actually just faster to get there if you death warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's faster. So, yeah. Two and one. Great. Oh, that was close. Really close. So, the hotel owner, Mr. Shiro here, we kind of left a bad review, and now he's mad at us. <laughs> you know how that goes. It was actually the evil goth twin, or whatever you said. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But she's just mean. Being mean. So, this is kind of a, you could call it a boss fight, but it's more like a chase. Um, there's a really long room coming up, which kind of breaks the boundaries of what you would call a screen. And there's two berries in it to boot. So, as far as checkpoints go, every room is basically its own checkpoint. <gasps> What? So yeah, that's mm, that's a long death. That's a long death. But at that's least hard. he collected the berries. He does not have to go for them again. Yep. That room is like notorious in any category, just because uh, it's just, it's like the first really really long room where a death just like costs you 10, 15 seconds almost, depending on yeah. how good you are, I guess. Oh whoops. Especially if you begin running this game, getting those cycles is not consistent at all. No. And even when you think you're consistent with them, the game is just like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you really think that that's consistent? Nah. It's one of those 50% of the time, it works every time. Exactly. Alright. Chapter 4 is pretty much a lot of berry collecting. Um, the mechanics kind of speak for themselves. Unless you don't know what wind is, then, then we need to have a talk. Ooh, oh, that was okay. good. Oh. So, we haven't actually... actually. I've uh, gone over corner boost yet. Chapter 4 also has one of the uh, most impressive sections okay. of the ARB round. Yeah. Which is called sh Shrine. For sure. There are a lot of hard strats, but they look um. really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to improvise. That, that, they look good as long as you actually execute the moves. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah. There you go. That's there. Better. Even a little corner boost. So I, I did mention corner boost a few times, but haven't really not properly gone through it. Because when when you climb on a wall, you can kind of climb jump, and if you do that on the top three pixels of a wall, you maintain your momentum before you did that, and then just kind of yeet yourself over. Shout out to Berry number sixty nine right there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So and one more Berry thing, Moose just collected a bunch of seeds. 
and uh, you have to collect them all without touching the floor. So basically, you don't get your dash back because you usually get that by touching the floor. But uh, yeah, shrine should be soon. Coming up right now. Mm -hmm. Oof. Ooh, hold the door. All right, so we're in shrine now. Every room is pretty impressive. Oh, Oof, if close. if you survive. Barely not enough speed. <laughs> this section is absolutely like one of the most brutal to learn for ARB, but yeah. for any percent, it just it just doesn't exist. Oh. For any percent, it's like ten seconds. Well, not really ten, like 20, fifteen. Basically, like the shrine is. Just berries to berries. collect. So if you really want to complete the game, you don't really have to be here almost, which is funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you basically, in any percent, you skip almost all of Shrine. Nope. Slow strats. It's all Slow right. strats. That's okay, fine. what am I doing? You're playing Celeste. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, this is the DDR. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. Can I jump in here with the donation? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We got twenty dollars from Ruby Dragon. Had to donate during Celeste. Good luck to the runners. Also, DNY percent win. I think that might mean any percent. But no, that's D D Danny percent. D D okay. No. <laughs> uh, there's a set of custom maps with D sides, which oh, are yeah. right. ridiculously which over the top difficult maps. And uh, which Ruby Dragon runs actually? I don't. I think. Yeah. He had world record, but I think Deluca has it now. Yeah, mm -hmm. So and those guys are just insane no, because the difficulty of the D sides is way up over the top. That's a backup hole. All right, but when right. is it though? <laughs> I'm uh, sure. After chapter nine releases. <laughs> it's still so. a 100k donation incentive. I'm, I'm gonna run it. So Moose here is going for a hard skip because there's a, a white block down there that has a Mario 3 reference, which we're gonna take. Shoutouts to Mario 3. But there's a really tight uh, wall bounce into a corner jump there to get to the heart without doing this. But it's kind of really, it's really, 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 really precise. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to spend two minutes trying to get that. You don't? I don't. Yeah, I agree. But two minutes on a strat of smoke, that's not good. Two minutes on a strat? So this is the first long auto scroller Moose just entered. <laughs> what? Well. You saw nothing. Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> that didn't happen. I just Let's see. There we go. You, got in. you can nice. clap for that. Yep. That's that's a really hard trick. Should have had a first try. Feels bad. Feels <laughs> <laughs> I, I just didn't press jump button. At least we saw it yeah, from one it. of you. They're not real auto scrollers Big like these blocks, but you know, since we have well to use them, might as well be an auto scroller. Yeah. Might as well. Didn't quite hear what you said, but you, in any percent, you basically just skip these yep. or half of them. So. I mean, you can yes, skip good. all of it, oh. but it's super precise, and basically nobody goes for it. Yet. Like, only in IELTS. Yeah. But with how any percent has been progressing, it should happen eventually. Yeah. Second auto scroll, skip one. Oh, no. That's a fun one. <laughs> so, yeah, wind. It, it blows. <laughs> It's actually a pretty interesting wind mechanic coming up pretty soon for Moose. It is, like Wind cycles. Fun. The only intentional death in this chapter. Yep. Coming up in this room right here. Alright, yeah. And whoop. Oh, no, what the f Oh, yeah. we got, you got the berry. He got it. It's yeah. fine. So, basically what happens there is... Uh, usually when you touch spikes, you die, obviously. <laughs> but if you really? if you hold away from the spikes with a directional input, they don't kill you for some reason. Yeah. So you can do some interesting strats. Another interesting strat we will see from Swessy later. Oh. Hopefully. I think, he, I think he goes for it. Yeah. I yeah. hope he gets it because it's kind of cool to see. Yeah. It's basically the um, the intended thing is like the spikes are not supposed to kill you when you're moving away from them. Yeah. Uh, but since you're, the wind sort of pushes you into them, when you're moving away from them, the game gets sort of confused, I guess, and just decides like, like, ah, you're fine. No, it, it has to do with the order of when it checks for death. You get the order yeah. jump before you die, pretty much. Yeah, okay. 
That was an interesting corner boost. It's just so cool to see. Ooh, slow strats. If you have more donations, you can probably read them out now. Yep. Uh, of course, we have $50 from Simon150. Hyperbabs, good luck runners. I love you. <laughs> Hard. And thanks, Matt. Yeah, shout out to Bob's right there. And <laughs> you really wanted that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's his emote. Oh, no. He's and a really good runner of this game, especially in uh, ARP. Yeah, and we have $10 from uh, Uru Potula. I love what you have done. It is nice how this gaming community can help new superstars. Smelly face. <laughs> we take those. The cliff face here is just har a harsh wind section. But yeah. as long as you're in a, a dash state or in a hyper dash, you will not be affected by wind. So, compared to like casual playthroughs, this oh, loser berry. This looks really different. Yeah, in casual playthrough, this part is really slow, but because we're hyper dashing through everything, uh, it's actually pretty fast. Yep. I like having a berry. Having berries is scary. Yes. <laughs> yes. But berries are only to impress your friends. Yeah, and we're here to impress people. Isn't that the whole point? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a joke. You're not supposed to agree with that. I mean, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, so on sweaty screen coming up is another cool uh, exploit of spikes not killing. Oh, he didn't get it. It's still really precise. One more try just because. One more try, okay. Oh. Come on, man. Okay, so what you can do there is you can actually jump off the wall with the spikes. Yeah, it saves like barely no time, and it is really dumb to go for it. But <laughs> it, it looks cool. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it, no um, problem. It's basically the same thing as in the berry room earlier, where you, you buffer a jump out of it, so that as soon as you're in the hitbox, you're already moving away from it. Sort of dealio. Um, unfortunately, it can't really show it off because I'm bad, I guess. <laughs> Happens. Mm -hmm. It's a marathon setting. You yeah. can always go it, uh, get it. Right. So entering Mirror Temple, the first part is basically a giant maze where every exit is either a barrier or the way to go. So, which means for us a lot of berries to collect. For you? Yeah, for you. <laughs> no, not for me, but you know. Oh shit, that's not good. I see some of these rooms have intentional deaths to go back faster. Yeah, we also have some slight routing difference, me and Moose here. Uh, yep. I'm not really sure if it saves. I'm pretty sure it's basically exactly the same. It's mostly preference, it's preference. from what I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a couple where it's like, sure, it might save like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Alright, so Moose's side, if he gets it, this looks pretty cool. Ooh. Sometimes that happens. We back it up. That's why we have backups. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you get another try. The game wanted you to try there again. There you go. And then an ultra here. No. Oh. Ooh, he bonked his head. Wait, ultras? What is that? <laughs> oh yeah, we need to touch an ultra set, guys. All oh, right. Uh, what are you doing? So an ultra is uh, like a hyper dash is just this fast jump you see, and if you cancel that with a down diagonal dash, uh, you actually stack the speed you had before and add on the dash speed. Yep. And you get just a lot of speed. You can get insanely amount insane amounts of speed in this game because there's no speed cap at all. Yep. But it's it has to be with the diagonal down dashes only. Yeah. Does only work if you diagonal down dash, otherwise you just lose all your speed after you dash. Nice. And we will see some ridiculous speeds uh, uh, in some parts of the game. Yeah. Yep. Also in the end of this chapter. Well, there would be one in this chapter, but we don't go for it, sadly. Oh yeah, that's true. The skip that shall not be named right now. The skip that shall not be named. <laughs> you just don't want to say it. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. See, I was not kidding when I meant that like every possible pathways, either a berry or the way to progress. And there's very few things that are actually the way to progress. It's like two out of, I think, how many berries are there? Like nine here, I think? Yeah. Ten. A lot of berries in this chapter. That's gonna be one good pie. Oh yeah. Forgot what the pie. The, the pie. best part of the video game. <laughs> pie at the end. <laughs> the really pie is not a lie. The game. What? <laughs> Wrong game series. Oh. 
So there are these dash blocks that just move along their track if you dash. So they can be in your way, but you can use them to gain momentum. Right. I think that's safe. Don't we? No, that's next round. Like, what's this? Berries. <laughs> if you have more nations, feel free to go from. Yeah, that's not much going on. No. Yeah, sure. I mean, we got um, fifteen dollars from Anonymous, no comment. Sixty dollars from Medinox, uh, no comment either. But we have twenty dollars from Daluk. Oh, hey. Daluk. Daluk okay. Excited for Hamlet skip. Smiley face. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Wait, was it called Hamlet skip? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. No. Oh my that is god. just Whoops. wrong. <laughs> That's a bu that's an all bot fan if I ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it, don't worry. Oh shit, that's not good. Yeah. And if I have a moment here I can yep. also remind people of the incentive that our wonderful hosts Charisse and Eidgot set up for their next uh, intermission. If we reach twenty three thousand dollars before that, they will do a performance of uh, Baby Shark together. <laughs> Swag moves. I like it. Down it for that, that should be great. So <laughs> we see it again. No? Yeah, no, no, just move on. There, yeah, oh, nice okay. There's a demo dash. That one is just purely for show, though. It saves, like, maybe point one. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we turn on assist mode and go through spikes, but... You just have to trust us that we're not quite that bad that we have to use assist mode. Quite that bad. <laughs> <laughs> just barely not bad enough. Yeah, yeah. Nice. The corner jump is actually kind of tricky, what Mooth just did. Surprisingly mm -hmm. tight. Yeah. Mm. So, Perfect. we're collecting a key here, and the next room that we're going to continue in has a, has a locked door, but we're not going to take the door. We're just okay. going... Mm. Also not going to do this. We're going to do not that. Uh, See really? if it gets it, then we'll explain it. Oh. It's another thing Demo found. Just anything new, Demo found it, pretty much. Oh, it's not working. How is it not working? What are you doing? That should it. I, I don't know. But you can get up there. Just <laughs> take the to the dev intended path. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's a pretty new strat. But basically, what you do is you do this the demo dash, like the crouch dash, and it puts you up. I think one or two right. pixels higher than uh, the bubble usually is. Oh, First, Swiss is going for DBS here. Oh, it's yeah. the older way to skip that interaction by doing a corner boost there. There we go. There we go. Nice. That's, nice. Really cool. That's really, really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and now also that is the, the strat. That is the strat well, that Deluke mentioned. Yeah. It was that, called that, Hamlet skip. That's just Hamlet. <laughs> now that's actually slower than the other strat, but it's uh, not the new strat is not as cool, so I'm not gonna do that right now. No, that that would just be Hamlet, right? I guess. Hamlet skip was the new one. Was it? Oh, whatever. I don't remember. So, Moose got the heart. So, as we will do now, there's a corner jump here in order to not have to go through the right side. Yes. Here we go. Because that's slow, and we don't do that. Yeah, going through rooms, that sounds, that sounds hard. Playing the game. <laughs> just, nah. do, just do an almost pixel perfect corner jump, that's fine. Sub pixel perfect. Sub right? Is it? <laughs> not safe. No, not perfect, not but perfect. it's like no. you can miss it even though if you're on the right pixel. Yeah. It's kind of silly. Different. It's still way more consistent than that sounds to worry about it. <laughs> yep. I had some cutscenes that we're gonna skip through and then into unraveling we have the Seeker boys. This pro um, this start pest section is uh, pretty much the same as any percent, there's just like one berry to collect. Yep. Uh, the next section however is gonna be a whole different beast than any percent ever was. <laughs> Just than the entirety of every any percent. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. And so those uh, things with ten tentacles on their back are called seekers. They just basically chase you uh, as soon as they see you. Uh, and if they touch you, or if you don't touch them on their head, they what? just kill you. Okay, sure. That's fine. <laughs> that was a lot. Sometimes you can apparently even touch them and still live. <laughs> yeah. On top of the head, it can be subjective at times. Medline is very strong toes. Yeah, hitboxes <laughs> are very weird in this game. You can dash through spikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can survive some hits from seekers. 
and then you die randomly. <laughs> but yeah, we should mention that even though these seekers look to be moving a bit erratically, they are entirely based on your position, so there's no RNG whatsoever. Yeah, there's no RNG in this entire run, which is really nice. Alright, so now for search, the section that you usually skip and, you know, just don't bother, but there's like a few berries and some keys we need to grab. Just the one. We're still actually gonna do. There's this. There's one key. There's yeah. this big skip in in the any percent run was search skip. Um, yeah. We don't even go. And there we're still anymore. gonna use search skip, but just to save time getting like two keys, mm -hmm. so we just have to get the one instead, which is very nice because there's a very behind the locked door after uh, that skip. Yeah. I think nobody really knows how much search skip uh, actually skips. It's a lot. Nobody. I think nobody actually ever timed it. Yeah, we just sat two minutes and went, with our, went on with our way. <laughs> I think optimally it would probably be closer to one. But it's it's a lot and it's fairly ne it's a fairly easy skip. Yeah. Um, yeah it's actually uh, a skip the developers intended yeah. to be possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they found it after like toying with the dash mechanics and that made it harder. <laughs> really? I didn't yeah, know yeah, about they that. Did. But, you know, that's subjective because it's not hard at all. Yeah, <laughs> it really is not. Right, weird flex, but okay. Now Moose is gonna flex on the skip, because he does like path. a corner boost version. And yes, I did put pressure on that. Thank you. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> just straight up cruise. Blue, that's there me. You go. <laughs> How can you just do this to the Moose? So yeah. So we have Theo coming up now, that's gonna be fun. Um, mm -hmm. Theo has some really interesting mechanics you can use. Um, interesting. I'm just gonna say interesting. Uh, hopefully it should speak for itself, most of it. Yeah. Um, but you guys might wanna explain like Theo Ultras and stuff, because it's a bit weird. Yeah, so normally with Ultras you have to have a certain height if you do not wanna like turn the Ultra into a Hyper when you touch the floor. But if you grab Theo before touching the floor, that restriction is removed. And thus you can go really fast, far, I was going to say far, you can I mean go you really go fast, with too, but yeah. fast with Theo. Because he preserves your momentum when you, pick you up, when you pick him up. Also apparently Madeline can lift. <laughs> Madeline is very strong just everywhere. Yeah. Both strong toes and strong hands. <laughs> strong there you go, person. but no, now we're just showing, showing off. Seeker, where did you go? There you go. Can you collect the berries, please? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this, like this screen you. is interesting. If he gets it, oh, missed it. He missed it. So you use the momentum from the dash block to pick up Theo and then fly across the screen. See if Swazi gets it? He does. Hey. If you guys have seen like the old task of this, where they still did 5A, uh, <laughs> that, that's, that, those two screens are even like ridiculous. When was that, like yeah. May? No, it was like June, June through like probably August maybe. That's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. So the Taz actually Ooh, goes no. so fast that he just flies through the spikes without dying. Yep. And skips two whole screens with insane amounts of speed. Right. Pretty good so far. Oh, we're actually pretty equal. Cool. Nice. Yeah, we are. Yep. Yeah, can I read something real quick? Yeah, yep, sure. sure. Go ahead. We have five dollars from M Shushi. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, Sushi. <laughs> Hey guys, glad to see my boys on the stage at ESA. Swessy Moose, save me a piece of the strawberry pie and Psych Blue Eye, best of luck with the 6B. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You sure I it's not Revo? I know you guys have worked so hard for this and I can't wait to see all the memes, laughs and bug champs that are gonna come with the run. <laughs> P.S. I will donate an extra $5 if Moose or Swessy gets the gets Ice Keep first try and $10 Ooh. if both get it first try. Ooh. Good luck. Yeah. W okay. okay. That's all. Alright. You can get excited for Ice Skip. Uh, the runners will go for it until they get it. It's a really hard <laughs> trick and it's really impressive. Yeah. When we get there, we'll, we'll talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Still have quite a way to go there. But. Yeah. So. We're in reflection now. Chapter 6, where this is where the story gets resolved, but we do kind of just skip cutscenes, so we don't care about story. But um, we have these feathers where it's actually. You can just get full analog control with the feathers. So it's actually easier to control with the, um, the analog stick. So even though everyone uses D-pad here, we use analog for feathers. Shoutouts to Revo's nonsense. Yep, let's see. <laughs> let's see if he gets it. This is really hard. 
No. No, no, no. There's so a ridiculous strat here. Yeah, you guys can explain actually. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're good. You can basically uh, do a dash jump off uh, the Kevin block uh, from the other screen and okay. do an ultra in the cassette room screen and basically fly through the whole screen into yep. the tape. It's really impressive, but it's extremely hard to get. Yeah, the thing that makes it so hard is that there's like a, a roof very close to the entry. And uh, if you do a da dash jump, you have to like do full, uh, what's called full height dash jump, and then do the whole uh, thing, right? Yeah. So this is the heart. We use the dash code from chapter one, and then reverse pretty much every direction in po different combinations. So, because we're so good with memory, we just have it written down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Remembering's hard. But uh, yeah, I mean one thing about Revo's nonsense, because I like that name too much, is. Um, Another reason why it's hard is because that of that ultra dash height, l like minimum limit you need to get. Mm. I mentioned earlier. That's why they missed it. It's kind of dumb. Okay. Yeah, it's Kevin. Yeah. We call it Kevin blocks because the sound designer used his voice for the Kevin blocks voice. There's a fantastic clip of him doing it underwater. And it's the That's probably the, the most <laughs> beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I did. I just saw it like a couple days ago. For some reason, we have some serious sync going on right now. Yeah, this is kind of weird. We're I'm not I'm almost not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically in the same screen all the time. Yep. So the rest of chapter six, since there's no berries in this chapter, it's just any percent. Yeah. Except so, uh, for the tape and oh the yeah. heart. But yeah, that's but all we, we know. already got those. So, so yeah. if you have uh, more donations, feel free to read some. Oh, that's good. Uh, sure. So we have ten dollars from Ginny. Almost forgot, so here is my $10 for bonking in Kingdom Hearts 3. Thanks everyone who stuck around for KG3, it means a lot to me. And the game will evolve so much when summer comes around. I'm really excited. Much love to all runners of this amazing event. Winter is definitely turning out to be a cool event and it's nice. getting better each event. Shout out to my favorite scheduling squad, Ethelon and Fatske, and of course Big Ben. And the rest of the ESA family and of course the new ESA kids that joined this year. Enjoy the rest of ESA Winter 19, y'all. See you guys at summer. Also, good luck to Celeste boys. I should play Celeste. Haha. <laughs> yes, you should. You Thank should. You. Yes. Yeah. And donation to winner's choice. So you get to pick uh, Ooh, after the oh, race. That's good. All right. I mean, those ten dollars is like half of Celeste already. Come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. We have some developer intended shortcuts here. Yeah. Like there are some small gaps in this uh, this in this ravine section they're actually developer intended you can <laughs> skip most of the screen through it shout out to water level yeah so originally this entire chapter was going to be a water level but after this section i think the developers uh, decided to, that i was lame so yeah didn't <laughs> do it. it is really slow <laughs> also seeing uh, coming up right. on move screen is uh, what we call bad line boost here we go Nice. Nice. So, hey, yeah. Uh, you just uh, basically do a hyper bunny hop from the Kevin and uh, get the mo momentum from the Kevin and the hyper and get insane amounts of speed to just skip through the whole room. Yep. Just fly through the hallway. Same trick on Swessy's side. There we go. So you can actually, uh, if you skip the cutscene too late, or if you are too low during uh, the cutscene skip, you get stuck in the ground and you have to retry. Yeah. It's the same principle as the uh, the small glitch we ma or they mentioned in chapter two. Yeah. Because yeah. in cutscenes, the game actually stores only your Y position. Um, there's actually a similar skip you can do in 5A uh, when you talk to Tio. Uh, yep. It's a lot harder though. It's not not widely used. Uh, I mean, oh. you can't use it in ARP anyway. <gasps> not in ARP. Yeah. Wait, what am I? What? No, you um. still. You no, it's not. You don't do it in ARP. Yeah. So both runners are now in uh, the bad line boss fight. Uh, she is shooting lasers and other projectiles at us while we try to dodge them and basically hit her multiple times per screen. Yeah. There's a story reason for this, but. I forgot what it was. <laughs> something, something battling your inner feelings. Something. something. Yeah. <laughs> something, the mountain is a metaphor. Something. 
depression, anxiety, something, something. Yeah. All I know is that we're not mount mountain climbers. Should we talk about water boosting? Uh, no. Nah. I mean, we can mention it. It's it. Okay, so water boosting. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, doing saw, it I saw most did like a. The RTA version, pretty much. Yeah, uh, there's a basically test only trick called water boosting, where if you jump on every frame leaving the water, it's 60 times per second for people who don't know what frames are or <laughs> don't know the frame rate of this game, I guess. Um, if you jump on every frame, you just get a metric frick ton of speed, I guess. Yeah, every jump, <laughs> every jump gets and, bad, uh, pretty much. Yeah, and you can do like one or two jumps in RTA, especially if you have two jump buttons. But in test, there's a couple of really ridiculous strats with it. No. no. Oh, that's a big one. Ouch, that's a small one. <laughs> that's a, don't look on the other screen. <laughs> Just, you always it's tell hard. yourself that there's you There's two screens to look at. You, you always tell yourself to not talk during runs, and now you hear you are talking. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy talking. It's fun. Uh, sure. But yeah, water boosting is pretty much task only. Unless you can mash like a madman. <gasps> Okay, we're good. All yeah. good. Okay, not nice. even close. Not even close. Nice. Musa has reached the end of the fight. Level and up. now we level up. So instead of having one dash, we get two dashes. Which opens up a lot of new possibilities for movement. It makes Ultra really easy. Ultras. It makes Ultras really easy, yeah. yeah. It just basically makes us faster because we can just dash double the time. So I see also finishing up the fight. Oops. That's only like 25 seconds between the runners, I think. Yeah, it's. I'm okay with this. Section. <laughs> yeah, that is really good. Well, some of this kind of has been a deal breaker so far. So mm, don't talk about it. <laughs> we're fine. It, it, we still. I, I still have five seconds to go. Please don't talk about it yet. <laughs> sure. So summit is basically the final test or final exam of Celeste, where. We will go through every chapter once again, but now with two dashes. But first, there is a demo dash coming up on Musa's side. Let's see if he, he needs to find the very bottom pixel. There nice. we go. Nice. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It's not worth it. Collect the berry, please. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, demo dashes are used pretty sparingly, I gotta say, uh, especially in, in G. I wonder why. In the, yeah, it's almost like it's hard. It's almost like it's um, a pixel perfect thing. Yeah. yeah. But when you do get it, it's, it's very impressive. And it's it's very nice. Like the updated task of there was an ARB task, right? Yep. The updated task is demo dashes everywhere, and it's insane. If you want to see the, the true like potential of demo dashes, watch the there was a seven C. Um, yeah. Test made when it first came out, which is just like. Spikes are very optional in that task. <laughs> right. Not just optional, just very optional. So, Moose just uh, went out of his way to grab a certain gem. And we need, in every subsection, there's one gem we need to find. And if you get all six, you will find the crystal heart at the end. And as you'll find out, just with gems and berries in general, in Summit, the devs have hidden a few berries, like, beyond where you would think you could be able to look. Like... Here's the orb to go through the next section, and behind the orb is something you would want to collect. Sneaky, sneaky sneaks. I should skip the cutscene. Nah. <laughs> also, uh, also, what's nice um, is that uh, in order to collect everything, you actually don't really need to do much backtracking. Yep. Uh, there's like paths basically from everywhere to everywhere. Uh, with one small exception. The one exception, later. yeah. I was, yeah. Gonna, I was gonna mention yeah. that. Um, which is very nice. It's actually like very doable to get full clearing everything. <gasps> okay, we're good. Okay, moves. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Got to show off some spike and then die right after. Right? <laughs> well, that, that's the last in a nutshell. You get the hard strat first try and then you die on a random spike. At least that's what I hope it will be for me. So yeah, speaking of that, you know, let's hide things at the very last possible corner. There's a berry here that we will have to grab. It's like, it's kind of evil. Sort of. 
sort of, sort of. If you don't know, it's there, which you won't. Back to dream hypers, I suppose. Yup. Oh yeah. Go for it, psych. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we're back in the chapter two section of summit. And uh, in the next screen, you will see some uh, like a strat called Dream Hyper. So you can basically do a hyper out of a dream block. It is kind of precise. Uh, oh. Kind of precise painful. to get it. But you can get fairly consistent at them. Yeah. We did do some, uh, like one each in uh, Chapter 2A, but it's barely used there just because you don't have access to a second dash. Uh, which makes it very like hard to save time with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here, there's b both like more open spaces where it saves time, and then also just you have a second dash, so you can actually like do things after. Yeah, there, there's one room coming up soon that that really showcases it. We'll yeah. mention it. First, we've got to find the gem. Okay. Which is right here. So now on move screen you will see. Not oh wait, bear, no, bear he fruit. has to get the berry. <laughs> yeah, wait a moment. I'm sorry. Wait I'm a moment. Runner. There's like one. Of <laughs> <laughs> there's a berry to collect. Okay. There we go. Now here's the green hyper. Ahead, there's so. one. There's two. Very nice. Yes. Got them all. Nice. Pressure's on, I guess. Yup. <laughs> Ooh. And misses this one. <laughs> Pressure's off. Great. Wait, as I said, you can get consistent what? at them, what? but you will still sometimes miss them. <laughs> Thank right. you. Opting for the safest strat there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and this one's the... That's just... Why? <laughs> why not, honestly? I guess. If you like backtracking. Easy games are hard. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just make a hard game, it's easier. I heard you like cycles. Do you like cycles? I don't. Oh, yeah, every speedrunner loves cycles. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like, pro for, for a lot of people in the any percent route, this is actually like the hardest part, or the one that moves in, or that I'm not doing now. Yo. Uh, just because it's like, it's the harder version of the, I guess the hardest chapter? I guess depends on your thoughts. It's the most annoying chapter to learn, I'd That's say. Like because yeah. you have to get used to the cycles. If you have, once you like know the cycles, they're not too bad. Yeah. I don't like having a berry. Cassette tape. Oops. Tape here is kind that's of terrible. Oh, okay. okay. That's that's not too bad. But Swessy just lost the berry where he can't go back to, so he has to quit out after this, uh, and go back for the berry. He has to quit out to map oh. and go back to the checkpoint and get the berry. Yeah. And like what am I doing now? The usual PB attempts that would you just be a reset. Yeah. So ARB is known for being very volatile because of that. You could just lose a run any at any moment. Yeah. Oh, we missed the ultra room for moose. No, oh, yeah. This I is just the a too, so don't worry about it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is just a room. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're gonna see it from Swessy. That's a good room to showcase uh, ultra dashes, because you can get a lot of speed just through dashing. Really, Frank or Z? I still don't see it. You, you don't? I don't see it's it. It's a dog. Come on now. It's not a dog. I'll point it out on Swessy's screen again, but. <laughs> <laughs> like the spikes or dust bunnies look like a dog there. What? Why was Come that so on. hard? They, they do. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. So in each, each final room you have to um, find ma battle line to guide you up. If you had infinite dashes, you could just get up here without using her, but since, you know, we don't... Swessy coming up to the ultra room now. Let's yeah. see if he gets the strand. Mm. Yeah. There nice. we go. So you get, can get a lot of speed in that room. <laughs> uh, just through dashing. And not a lot of rooms where you can get that amount of speed. 
without I, any other things to help you get speed. I, I'm prepping you for that dog because you have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's sort of a dog, I guess. I guess. Technically, I guess. Uh, it, it requires a little bit of imagination. On Swessy's screen right now, there it is, in the middle. It's a bit oh, of a whoops. skinny one, to be honest. Long nose dogs, I, can't, yeah. I don't remember okay, what the breed is I, called. I oh, it. I should not go there. Okay, where's that? If I actually go too far there, uh, the, it, the wall just closes up, so yep. I wouldn't have anything to get back. So, yep. Luckily, my reaction time is amazing, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Probably like ha I, a full second I can react to that, so very impressive. Moose casually skipping an auto scroller. Sadly, we cannot skip this one. And apparently, this, this berry is this really. This is his favorite berry, by the way. Yeah. He loves that berry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Get get, getting a first try. That berry is actually pretty hard to get. That's a really dumb berry. Even though it is basically a casual strap? Yep. Yeah, it is a casual strap, but it's. Oh, oh, oh nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> that, is, that is really hard to get. That's like a setup list demo dash, and it's close to frame perfect and pixel perfect. Yep. And saves like basically nothing. Yes, yeah, it saves <laughs> nothing. It's just to show off. <laughs> you just watched the task one day, now you want to copy everything it does? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, hello. Whoa, hello. 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 The Welcome. The gem was not playing. <laughs> Thank you, great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> the gem was not playing. Nice You're a bit me. late, but you know. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Like 50 minutes. Yeah. Luckily, I had a save, apparently, a save file ready for this. Yeah. Remind me to go get the berry because I might forget. Yeah, I already <laughs> yeah, <just> great. <laughs> thought of that. <laughs> you said it, and I was like, oh, wait, what berry? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one that I was dumb to miss with, yeah. We're not doing most red berries, we're getting them all. Yeah. Most red berries one. Oh, great, this berry. Alright, so it did mention the routing where. You basically don't have to backtrack to get all the full clear in this chapter, and uh, this is the only exception. Um, okay, if, okay. Because um, try that again. We have to grab this berry over here and then find some sort of safe spot to retry and get back to the beginning of the room. Yeah. And appa apparently, the game thinks that is a safe spot. <laughs> we have yeah, a couple of pixels to the spikes, and you can collect the berry. Looks safe there. to me. <laughs> Everything's fine. If right. Madeline's alive, it's fine. Let's take a ride. Chill a bit in the in the bubble. <sighs> Almost. Ah, there we go. That's so probably the longest auto score, actually. <laughs> Might be. Oh, a bubble. Yeah. <laughs> a bubble. I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's that one or the 4B. No, probably not. Distance, maybe, yes. Distance, yeah, yes, but you. Time, not. You haven't seen 4B yet. Time for Moltres. What? Me. Okay. So, Moose collecting mm. the last gem of Summit now. This will unlock uh, the heart in uh, the last section go. of Summit. Yep. For some berries. That's basically this section is like we want to continue, but first berries. That's just this whole genre, run, run in general. Berries. Yeah. And it's almost like you collect. It's almost the like you collect yeah. all the red berries. Hmm. Really? Who would have thought? Nah. That can't be right. Nah, I don't think so. Crazy talk. So I don't know how you were supposed to find this casually, but <laughs> sure. Guess. After a while, you become so paranoid, you just use the bubble to go in every direction. That's yes. a wall, just to see if it's a hidden wall. And most of the time, it actually is. Yeah, you get definitely rewarded for exploring. What? Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. You're rewarded with nice pie at the end Ooh, of the game. Skipping the doors. What? It's okay. a what big meme. It's a dumb meme it's in my eyes, but... Same. Why is that door still a meme? is a big meme. It's such a big meme. <laughs> Did you guys hear how much it saved? <laughs> one, it's Stop. one sec. It's one second. It's nothing more than one second. <laughs> I'm sure sorry. It's not nine years. I'm the worst. No, no, no. <laughs> there we go. Someone had to, right? Yeah. I don't know. I still don't know. I mean, I guess it's kind of the best thing because of how long it just managed to stay relevant. Shoutouts to uh, 2028, where we would have been if you hadn't skipped the doors. <laughs> God damn it! You just made me die. I'm blaming that on you. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, so now the chapter, like, revisit has been completed and we're at, we're at the actual summit of Summit. Where there are 30 flags where, uh, which count is checkpoints, because these are, like, super long screens. But first the heart. And as you'll see later, these hearts are actually color-coded to the 
like side of the level that you're playing in. I did not know that. Wow. I haven't even thought of that. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you really not know that? Oh, jeez. really didn't know that. Like, A sides are blue, B sides are red. Huh, yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, that, that one I knew. sides are golden. Oh, yeah, also, I better see some Gold. counting in chat for these flags. Go back for we need, we need this berry here. Ooh. Pretty sure this is like your favorite berry to die with. Definitely. <laughs> At least you can go back for it. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. Like so. mine. Thanks. <laughs> this is a downdraft section where just increased gravity in the form of wind. Pretty much. So, you need to wall bounce a lot to maintain your momentum going up. Hello, Mr. Barry. <laughs> so yeah, this this um, three three thousand meters of summit is a lot of platforming and a few berries. So if there are some more donations, we could read them here. Uh, well, we have ten dollars from anonymous with no comments, and. Um, I have a question. If you guys could tell me when the uh, reflection B side starts, and uh, maybe have something to read Ooh. at that point. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I think that. I have an idea of who that book might be. Uh, right. Really? I, I don't. No, it's a problem, right? Oh, you'll find out then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're going to have a problem with hands. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We meant counting in chat, but sure, you can count here if you want. <laughs> That's fine. But uh, if I see anyone count a flag, we have not collected your band. Just, you know, <laughs> just a warning. Sure. I also don't know how much we talked about wall bouncing, but it's a very important thing in this chapter, or this uh, section especially. Yeah. Just because of like how the wind can mess with your movement uh, vertically, uh, you can get a lot more uh, ground faster just with wall bounces rather than just trying to dash up. Yeah. The wall bounce is basically a vertical hyper. Uh, use instead of uh, the ground to jump off, you use the wall. Yep. Get a lot of speed, uh, vertical mo momentum, and a little bit of horizontal as well. Yep. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You can you can use that to go around spikes and stuff. All right. Five more berries, but they're not in this chapter. I feel like we should have explained wall bounces before summon. I don't know. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> did you not do that? <laughs> what we did, I just kind of, you know, glossed over canceling your dash with a jump on any surface. Yeah, I guess so. That, that does cover everything. Yeah. Th technically, I mean, technically. sure. This is the best kind of correct, right? Moose has reached flag one. This is the home stretch of summit. This is where any percent would end. Well, if you didn't collect berries. If you didn't collect and, and all the berries and, and the tapes. hearts. And the but that, that, is <laughs> and that is any percent. You, well, you said this nothing is, this wrong. Is pretty much any percentage. It's just a high percentage. Yeah, it, it uh, counts uh, as any percentage. It counts. It's <laughs> it's not, you it's probably get top, just probably top 200 with this. I'm even. annoyed. <laughs> okay, so oh, that's Moose did not lose any berries. He does not have to go back for anything. And he also unlocked core. Everyone likes core. And with yeah. that, I mean... Pretty much not a lot of people like core. There's probably one person in the universe that likes core. Yeah. <laughs> so the mechanic in core, after starting from this room, is that you do not regain your dashes when you touch the ground. You only get them through screen transitions, which we did not mention, but you, that's a thing that we abuse a lot. And uh, by the dash gems. So we have to carefully choose where to dash and, you know, use it the most efficiently. And it's also where Ice Skip is. Oh yeah. Wait yeah. It. It's coming up soon. It's coming up very soon. So the theme of Core is fire and ice. Uh, we're in fire right now. And normally, if you go to the right, this is where you would get the quote-unquote tutorial for ice. But with an Ultra, I don't count that. That doesn't count. With an Ultra into Corner Boost, that we can though. skip oh. it. And we, you need it to get a berry. And it's like the hardest trick in the berry round. It's like really hard. Probably the hardest trick in the game, honestly. In the game. Yeah. Nope. 
But RTA runners too, definitely. It saves so much time that you kind of have to go for it. Yeah, it's a, like if you do it first try, I think it's... Wait, wait a moment. Oh, nice. Wait, 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 wait. We have to collect the berry. Oh. No, oh, he has no. to do it again. <laughs> we have to collect the berry. <laughs> oh, we clapped oh. it first. Uh, too soon. Like That's you might think that only the first part of that is hard. The second oh. part can be... Oh, oh how did very you lose close. that seed? The second part of the getting that berry can be just as hard, just because of how precise your two dashes have to be to get through to, to back to the room. Yeah, and we'll get to the lava blocks after uh. I skip, but first, let's make it happen. That should... Oh, too much speed. Too too much. Much speed. Yeah, you can also get too much speed, which is the most annoying thing there. So basically what you have to do there is an extended reverse oh. hyper dash oh. over no. the lava Again? block. Get two corner boosts. Oh, that's... And... You got it. Enough speed on the way. And yes, it is as complicated <sighs> as it Again? sounds. Again? Too much speed. You're just go you're just too fast, Moose. Stop. Too good at the game. You're too good. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Really? Oh man. <laughs> so oh, no. You did get it first try though. Kind of. Let's skip it off. No, nah, the, the skip includes the, the, skip the berry. Oh, okay. the berry. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. You have to get the berry. Ugh. Fortunate. Yeah. You know. Thank you for giving me time to catch up. I appreciate that one. No, we, Come on. we need we need Sorry. we need a buffer. If here. you get this first try. Oh shit! Whoops. I would laugh. I would, I mean, well, I think we should try. Uh, is that it? No. no. No, it's too slow. It's, it's, again, it's really hard. You need uh, an ultra dash through the screen transition and then a corner boost to get enough height to do another ultra dash. That's good. It's, it's not enough? Nope. I mean, that can happen in a marathon setting. Yeah. In the practice, it didn't go as bad. He got first try every time, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Literally free. And that, I, that should be enough. Okay. Nice. okay. Don't say it too early, please. Oh, thank there you. we go. <laughs> nope, nope. Well, neither of us got a first try. That's unfortunate. Okay. Swissy also going there for it go. now. Let's see if you can get it. No, uh -huh. too low. Probably missed the corner boost. Or yeah, I did. Yeah. I. Let's. Come on, man. Mm. Also, in uh, the category A or B, where you collect all the red berries. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, first I skip. Nice. Very nice. There we go. Okay. Alright, we can continue. In the category A or B, where you can collect all the red berries, uh, it is very dependent on this trick. If you lose too much time on that trick, you lose your run after 50 minutes of running, and that is very infuriating, or can be very infuriating. Also, worst room in the game right so here? Very, yeah. yeah. So, again, the theme is uh, fire and ice. So the fireballs, when in ice, become jumpable platforms. And there are these lava blocks, which everyone loves and hates at the same time. Mostly hate, but... <laughs> oh. Where uh, they launch you at a specific angle, dependent on the where you stood on them, so... Especially the small lava blocks can be infuriating to control. Okay. <laughs> that berry is really, really scary, also the bumper uh, barrier room there. Yeah, and bumpers only work in ice, in only fire, they're just death. Only one berry left to go for Moose. I forgot to get my berry, by the way. Yeah, you, you, you did. did. <laughs> you have to get it off the corner. Yeah, I'll just do that. It's fine. So. You guys were supposed to remind me of this. Yeah, we did. <laughs> in <sorry>. core. <laughs> <laughs> In, no, not in Quarian Summit. I know. And another thing with the fire and ice is, in ice, the, the some walls become slippery, so you cannot climb. And in fire, they are conveyor belts, which can launch you up. So here the walls are slippery, so you cannot climb on them. But the, the most interesting thing is how some rooms can be completed in both ice and fire, even if you, like, uh, go away from the intended setting. Yeah, we'll see that in, in uh, Core B. Yeah, well, we're gonna try well. it. No, you're gonna get it. We're gonna try and get it. How about that? That sounds like, <laughs> good, that sounds like a good plan, actually. How about that? You can't get anything. You don't try to get. No, there's no try. You only do. Ooh, okay, that's fine. Last berry here. That's not good. Okay. And who's got all the berries? Yeah. Now he just has to finish core. And then he's done. And he's done for his part. Oof. Oof. Then my fun begins. Yes. Hope you're excited, Blue Eye. I am so excited. <laughs> like after this, we probably need one or two minutes mm. uh, on each setup. M maybe less for you, yeah. but for for us it is. 
Yeah. Uh, two switch runners, switch controllers. Switch uh, button layouts. Mostly. Switch button layouts. Yeah, that's, that's. And then we're good to go to go for the B sides and C sides. Yeah. Because uh, we mentioned the demo dashing way. There's like a four frame window to input down before you actually dash. But you, there's also a way to do it but with a controller mapping. Some people call it a macro, but it, it's allowed. I think it's just one button. Let's not get into rules, it's not, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad it's idea. It's like you bind a button to keyboard down. It's not not so allowed. And then it this works my somehow. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but it works. Sure. So this is the final part of core where fire and ice will go up and down. You have to keep switching to survive. Whoa, whoa, whoa you should be ice. Okay. It's uh, two more rooms to go. Yeah. Let's try that again. Yeah, we like the, the entry cycle here. The death cycle is not yeah. consistent in these tape rooms. Yeah. Because it's music based, uh, the, uh, the death cycle is not consistent because the music doesn't stop when you die, it just keeps going. Alright, so this is where the dash limit is removed and we can just fle freely dash again. Yeah. But we it's also kind get of a lot of speed through ultras here. Yeah. I'm not sure what the meaning of this nice. room is, it's just kind of floaty. That was nice. And that's Moose's part of this round. So yeah. Nine. Now for the technical intermission. <laughs> technical intermission. <laughs> uh, during this intermission, I want to remind oh, everybody sorry. that uh, we have a donation incentive. So sort of. just like keep this chair. I mean, I'm fine then. Uh, uh. But yeah, if we reach twenty-three thousand uh. before this uh, next intermission starts, uh, we have a performance by Therese and the uh, Eidgott of Baby Shark. You need all that. Uh, I'm not done yet. Over here. <laughs> I'm not done so yet. So he still yeah, has to get I have to. He lost in, uh, yeah. in Summit. Unfortunately. Should be quick Never though. Know. It's the first berry, which is nice. Yeah. It should only take like 10 seconds yep. in game time. Please. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Luckily we unlock all these checkpoints, so I just can do this. Alright. Let me just take this. No, it hasn't taken control yet. Ah, there and we go. There we go. Nice. Alright. Let me just... Let's see what Yeah, I know you don't Kay. like me. Um, switch controllers. It's probably, like... Alright, so I actually have to close the game and reopen it because I have an Xbox controller where Swessy plays with a PlayStation controller and you can't just unplug. Steam is a little bit tricky sometimes. Where yeah. is it? Come on. Okay, that works. Um. So we're just gonna try to sync up the uh, in game timers here. No, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> well, that's like 20 warning. That's not great. <laughs> Should be good to go now, right? Uh, let's see. It's only pressing down and not confirm. Oh, there we go. All right. Cool. Yeah, this should work. Let's go. Let's B side go. time. B side time. The music is really good. Should probably talk to me about music. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I forgot climb. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> climb is kind of important usually. I forgot this button. There. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Die real quick. Good. Yep. Also, who plays with Rumble? <laughs> Nobody. Mine just wasn't on. I think I have Steam settings. <laughs> Weird. Well, yeah, what is your timer? One five twenty. Okay. I'm so I'm gonna wait for a bit. To you can go in, go into the chapter or start. Uh, this one is annoying. Yeah. We're uh, gonna try sure. to sync up the game timers here, so it's actually backup cool. time. We got it. Because really the game is actually. No. Uh, the game is actually gauged by the in-game time, uh, which we when actually forgot to mention. This is like going horrible, whatever. Backup, auto strat. All right, there we go. Both are now starting up with the B-sides. And for those that haven't played Celeste, the B-sides are basically just like shorter, but a lot harder versions of the normal levels. And uh, there's not really any collectibles or anything, so these guys are just going to try to get through these uh, screens as fast as they can. All right, I'm going for this once. 
cornered yeah. him on the spikes. There nice. nice, that's really nice. I was also kind of scared of this because my warm up is an hour ago, so <laughs> so I has blue eyes warm up. Yup. So you could tell. Yeah. It's a little bit different strats here from Psych going uh, for a little shorter oh, jump off the thing. Here's a very precise trick here that Psych's gonna do. Ooh, just barely missed it. Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. It's hard. There you go. It's a pixel perfect lineup. There yeah. You go. Oh my God! What? Okay, I, I can. Can you back that up? <laughs> Are you? Nah, yeah. <laughs> I like the attempt. Nice try. Yeah. So these levels are incredibly brutal, uh, both just difficulty-wise, and then there's also a lot more like of the long rooms that lose a little more time uh, rather than in the A sides. Yep. And then there's also that one B is like one of the most technical B sides, yeah. and that's it's, the it's first not, one you do. It's not a nice start to the to this. Deep breaths. You got this. Oof, uh, freak. Um. <laughs> okay. Saved it. I like this room. If I get it. This room was really cool. Not, not that. Um, that's not right. That's this. not great. There you go. This, this, um, this B side especially, is just, as the Boo I mentioned, it's extremely technical. There's just a lot of tricks everywhere, uh, even more than some of the later ones, um, for some reason. 6B. <laughs> and well, 6B. Don't forget 6B. I, I said some. Like every, every, all the B sides have their own really hard, like sections basically. That is true. Um, okay, we're, we're alive, but backups. Missed cycle. That's the first uh, B side there for Blue Eye. It's like there's just a couple rooms behind here. Alright. Coming up to B. So Good. 2B has a, just a lot of interesting things with the Dream Blocks. Uh, the first thing you're gonna see is double Tech. jumping out of the Dream Blocks. Hey, you can um, so not only can you jump out of the Dream Blocks, you can actually double jump out of them if you have the timing down. Uh, which gives you not only more like height, but also a lot more speed and, and distance from the Hyper. Yeah. Or from the dream block, from the dream block. You jump once before leaving and after leaving. Yeah. Which is very useful. If you want to go fast. And also quite precise. And bad lines uh, back for a little bit here. here. Yeah. So this is just a lot more cycle things basically. Trying to beat uh, her to the coins and then not get killed on the way. Yeah, Can be quite tricky. In this chapter, there's also another use of the demo dash coming up. Oh yeah, that's I true. Missed. Guys might want to explain that. Yeah. So. As we mentioned with demo dashing, it works uh, changing the uh, hitbox of Madeline, and mostly it's used with horizontal dashes, but uh, we're going to see fairly soon uh, diagonal demo dashes, and yep. that changes the hitbox uh, the same way as re regular ones do. Uh, but in this case, it's going to be used for a kind of interesting trick where it's really hard, it's kind of hard to explain what actually happens. It's like you. Um, oh, jeez. I guess we'll see you when we get there. Yeah, we'll I think it's better. It's better, to, it's better to watch uh, first, honestly. Yeah, the next few rooms are quite interesting to yeah. be. So we're probably gonna see... No, it's a little bit later, I mind. Come back to that. Starting here. Yeah, so here we have a, a nice little lineup uh, that Blue is gonna do. Yeah, right there. Very nice. Yeah, also a couple of spider jumps uh, there. This one. Here. Nope, yes. not there. Here. So Psyched is actually going for coinless there here, which is a precise corner jump. Ooh, just barely misses it. One more time. There you go, and then also a nice. nice, very nice. That's a very precise trick. Yeah, you can clap for that, absolutely. All right, next room is demo dash. Yeah. So, Psych is also gonna do the lineup here very soon, and then you should keep your eye on Blue Eye for a little bit. So right here. Very precise. There Just nice. barely squeezes in there without extra pixel you get from demo dash to get through there. Very, very nicely done. Also really hard because if you like do try to I'm do demo try too again. low. Um, You'll just get killed on the spikes, so it's, it's incredibly precise there. So very nice. There you go. There you go. Nice hard shot there as well. Good job. That room is so annoying for, for casual player. <laughs> it's just annoying. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Period. Then again, I don't run B sides, so you know. Mm. Psyched also going for the demo dash. Very nice. Nice. Done. Uh, so, nice. once again, we heard you like cycles. They're back for for blue eye. They're even worse this time. Even worse. Even faster. There's some very, very nice strats here in the opening a couple of rooms, so just keep your eyes peeled on these people. On this uh, no. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I thought I did. There's a lot of nice use of corner boost, actually, just in the, the opening. Easy. Just do it again. Easy Ooh, every time. Yep, there you go. Nice. There's a nice corner jump there at the end. Very nicely done. 
This room is also really I heard cool. you like spikes. Oh yeah, this one is... <laughs> we don't need those crystals. We just, we just skip them. everything, basically. It's very nice. Nice jump. That was nice, like... Nice jump. So far, really good uh, 3B for most players. I'm trying. <laughs> You're doing good. You're fine. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, these levels are like hard to unlock and to just play in general for a reason. Yeah. So that's are like expected even more in this uh, to happen yeah, than our sides. I mean, berries are also oh, yeah, a lot true. harder than yeah. any percent itself. That's true. Deaths in B sides are usually also a lot more punishing. Unless you lose days. berries. Un unless you unless lose the you berries. Lose berries. I'm sad. I'm, I'm an, imagine <laughs> what happened if you did that. Ooh. I wouldn't know. Imagine the nerves. <laughs> uh, we haven't actually covered neutral jumping yet. That's actually true. Uh, we were good at explaining things. Uh, so Very. there's a technique called neutral <laughs> neutral wall jumping. Uh, usually when you try to wall jump uh, regularly, you just either you go too far away from the... Um, oh, that's more shot. Go too far away from the wall so you don't actually get any height. And if you want to get height, you usually like the whole climb, then you get up and you lose all your stamina. Uh, if you do neutral wall jump, it's just like a wall jump with no uh, directional input. And then ah, smack right. your face back into the wall. Uh, you'll get a little bit of height with each jump and save all your stamina. Uh, we did that in uh, Reflection for the Heart, if you remember that. It was a while ago now. But yeah. uh, <laughs> it's used quite a lot during the run, so we probably should have covered it. But we're oh. professionals here. Oh, so here's a really nice strat from Blue Eye. Going above the screen and above the uh, dust bunnies there. Ooh, uh, you need it, actually. Yeah. Ooh, no, nope, you're fine. You got it. Nice. No. Ooh, <laughs> that's... Oh, no, I'm missing a cycle. Nice. Yeah. Whatever, that cycle is annoying, but... Yeah, I'm missing it. Nice. Oh, we have to back it up. Yeah, Good back up. Go. Good save. So your zero cycles are just even more annoying in this uh, chapter rather than the other one. Nice, bonk. Very nice. Coming up in the last room here. I'm not sure if Blue Eye's gonna go for it, but there is a very f fun strat here. Yeah. You're gonna go for Blue Eye? No, I just no. like my fast cycle too much. That's fair. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll give it one go. Don't okay. <laughs> if I hit the spring. Nope, you I'll don't. But I'll, t I'll do the dumb one. Alright. That's no, a very okay. that's an incredibly dumb one. I don't know where you did it for. <laughs> I said it was dumb. I mean, you were right. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so there's a demo that you can do here at the end. It's like, it's gonna go for it maybe one more time. Nice. <laughs> that's really, really nice. Yeah. Sync right now. Ooh, the sync. we're synced Ooh, again. Nice. Dope. I like this. There's a Close there's races. an amusement park in 4B, by the way. It's called Auto Scroller Land. <laughs> when do we get to the fun part? This is the, this <laughs> is the fun part. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Freak. Oh, okay. First, this this is nice. I one. had to, alright. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, so uh, there were a couple of auto scrollers in the uh, the four uh, chapter, and uh, there are more here, <laughs> basically. There's also some very cool pla uh, skips and platforming, so it's not all it's not all auto scroller and boring things. Don't worry about it. Well, even it, it pretty much is. <laughs> no, at least this has a great soundtrack. Sure. This is probably like, I think this or one B is my favorites. No, it's five. Which is a pretty hot take, honestly. It's a it pretty hot take. Usually five B is like the the one people go to for the best. But because they're, because that's correct. No, oh, because yes. no one B is underrated. It is, but it's not better. That, than that's 5B. a that's a sink. That's a mood. That sink Ooh. was ridiculous for a little bit. All right, nice over there. Getting through. Slight strat difference here. Yeah, it's a little, little bit of strat strat differences. Uh, mostly just comes down to how consistent it is. For B sides, generally it's just like if you don't die, you're fine. So finding your most consistent is like almost always going to be a better idea. Yeah. Um, even though it might lose a bit of time in the long run, it's going to save you a lot of headache. <laughs> There's a lot of frustration just because yeah. of how hard these things can become. Okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think it's just a couple rooms now for the coin. Yeah. Mm. Don't quite remember. No, sure. it's a little bit longer. I don't remember the B-sides. <laughs> I almost did, you know, that dumb thing with the bubble. Oh, okay. Yeah. Talking about. This yeah. is a really cool, cool room for Psyched. Yeah, it check this out. Right at the end. It doesn't even need that. We it does need some nice little thing here, and then... Nice. Very nicely, and then the... The, the small block can even come, or the lower one. Nah, you still have time for that. Psyched is way too fast for those blocks. 
Probably gonna see it from the way. Yeah. The lower block tr yeah. tries his best, still makes it. He tried. I wasn't kidding about the older scrollers, by the way. Yeah, uh, there's quite a lot. But at least they have like something to do in them, so it's not literally just waiting. That would be something. Coin room, coin room coming up right here, I think. No, I no, 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 there's more. One, one more room. Even one I knew that. <laughs> My bad. This is a pretty cool skip though. You can actually just get over all of that somehow. Just, just do some dashes. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see the end. It's a big death. Yeah. Just a extended dash jump there, like at the very end. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I'm a dummy. Again, these B sides are really hard. Yeah. Oh, and really punishing. Like so far, they've been doing really, really well. Absolutely. Potentially, except the start of like 1B, but that's just no warm up. But everything yeah, else has just been going really good, so some uh, deaths are expected. Uh, Even getting stuck in some section like this it just happens. There we go, it's like getting through, hopefully. I shouldn't say anything. There we go. So now comes the coin room. So you usually would have to get all of these coins, but you can trigger the wind with a corner jump, get back, somehow get to this block, do a pixel, I think pixel broken or two pixel lineup, full wall jump, and then just get up there. It, it's, it's something. It's a very nice trick, so good job on getting that. I, yeah, I got it. You both got it. Nice, very good job. Oh no, Ooh, that corner big, boost that's was a big one. not intended. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Slight Ooh. There. Do I take a lead error again? Nice. Do you have a moment? Yep. Yeah, go. Oh, come on. We got $5 from Mshushi. Hey. Guys, I thought Ice Skip was free. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Ice Skip is not free. I want anyone to who hears this. Ice Skip is not free. I will All fight right. you. Alright, best B side music right here. No, we already worked with best B side. Let's talk about a certain sure. two frame trick now. Yeah. There's also a uh, post trip to. Nope. Are we playing bingo tonight or what? <laughs> <laughs> no. We're no. doing that tomorrow. M no. It's too late already. We're doing it tomorrow. No. No. Just no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so we have 5B now, uh, which is actually used in any present nowadays uh, yep. because of a certain trick coming up right now. I hope I get it first try. I really do. Uh, I hope you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> got <laughs> you got this. You got this. Great. Let's see. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Very good. Nice. That's called the uh, the Bob's Drop. Uh, basically, it's the same principle as the heart uh, thing in Resort, where the game uh, doesn't really know where to put you when you enter the screen transition or, or when you transition to the screen from up there, because you're not really supposed to. So it just puts you to the closest one, which happens to be on the right. So you can skip a lot of things. Uh, this was actually used by a couple of runners beforehand, uh, doing a really hard corner boost uh, in the end of this room. But this is, even though it's hard, it's a lot easier. It also has somewhat of a backup uh, that has like the 14 has to do now, uh, where you can just re return the map and restart the chapter here. Gives yeah. you uh, another try at it. It says Very 20 quick. seconds, so you can retry it once. And you know, That's unfortunate. This is a two frame trick, keep that in mind. Yeah, it's it is difficult. very hard. Two frame, overt screen transition. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's dumb. There's no good visual cue or anything for it, you just gotta oh. get the feeling down. Do one more, otherwise, just do it on one, dude. No, that's so slow. Yeah, but like. That's like. I guess. No. Okay. You got this. Nice, nice. there we go. Doing it the normal way is, I think, 40 seconds slower. Is it 40? Somewhere around there. It's, right. it's, it's really, 30 to 40 seconds. It's really right. slow. You really don't want to do that. That's fair. I just thought it was slower. I don't actually run this side. Seekers. Oh. Boink. More Seekers. More coins. Yeah, so the Seekers are back in this chapter. We're also going to see our, our old friend Theo. What? With a lot cooler strats, actually, I think. Mm, Possibly. Well, I disagree, but... No, I think 5A is more interesting for really? Theo. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's longer. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like the b this, this Seeker hates me, by the way. It's just, a pr it's just personal. There it is. There, there you go. go. Nice. There's a pretty cool uh, strat in this room as well. I actually use the, the Seeker explosion a lot. Ooh, that's awkward. Let's see? There we go. Nice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Whoever clap, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Moral support right there. Psyched oh, also going for Psyched going for a slightly different setup here, uh, with actually bounce, bounce like um, using the bounce twice. Very nice of them. What? 
Snell's entering Theo. Uh, uh what? Slight mm. misinput. Yep. I didn't press down. So yeah, if you th if you play this casually, you'll know that Theo is kind of awkward to control, and trying to do this side with Theo fast is, well, that secret what? always gets in my Yeah, it, it's it's hard. Both runners are probably the hardest screen in 5B, in my yeah. opinion, right now. Mm, I guess yeah. Except Har for Bob's drop. Bob's drop. Yeah. yeah. Fa doing it that room fast is really hard. Doing it slow is kind of okay, actually, in my opinion. This Maybe. is the sushi room. <laughs> the sushi room. <laughs> Shout out to M Sushi because he hasn't had enough screen time yet. <laughs> it's just because he, time, right? like during a race, he lost 20 seconds in this room, even though it's like fairly simple. So you said you had some donation about uh, reflection, B. Yes. Let's go right ahead. We have uh, 15 do dollars from Le Revolution. Ah, uh, <laughs> Revo. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Hey Revo. Have fun and enjoy the best level in the run. <laughs> you four are great runners, so congratulations on meeting uh, each other in such a cool event. Have fun and enjoy. You deserve it. Yeah. Thanks, Revo. Thank Big so shout out to Revo. This is hey, 6B uh, is really a cool chapter. There are a lot of cool yeah. strats in here. But uh, also, in my eyes, it's definitely the hardest one. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the reason <laughs> Revo thinks this is the best chapter, or not the reason, but he thinks this chapter is really nice, and it, it really is. Uh, but he's kind of crazy and decides to do this in any present. And yeah. optimally, it does save, like, what, five seconds? Nine seconds. Nine seconds, optimally. optimally. Uh, but this is an incredibly hard chapter with a lot of really punishing deaths, so... He's kind of crazy for going for it, but it is a really cool chapter, so... I mean, he went for the corner boost before yeah, the bump true. drop, so... Revo is kind of... We, we also mentioned the trick uh, Revo's nonsense back in Reflection A. Yeah, that's true. And uh, it's it's also his strat, of course, because it's Revo's nonsense. Yeah. So... He, he, is, he is a very aggressive player. What? Yeah, what? it's that really, really cool to watch him run this. I'm just running, run any game, honestly. So big shout out, man. I'm not doing that. What? Okay, I guess I'm doing that. <laughs> I think for the most part, this chapter doesn't really have that much like interesting oh skips. It's just really good gameplay. Yeah. So I it's think you can go for movement. you can go a couple, for a couple of nations. Uh, Bob. Okay, we have five dollars from Simon two three one. Um, before I read this, I'm going to apologize to all French speakers. <laughs> uh oh. Pour le bonjour you. No, that can't be correct. It, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I tried, okay. Do you have any French people like uh, back there? Someone, maybe someone knows French? That someone French come over here. <laughs> I, I guess not right now. No. This room is annoying. Yeah. There's this like this uh, section right. of Saxons now is also like quite uh, annoying, especially for casual trying to get through this ravine. There's a nice little skip here with the Kevin block where you just skip one of the interactions. Okay, also some nice like small water boosting from Psych there using uh, I'm assuming using two dump jump buttons. Yes. I yeah, mean, two, who uh, isn't these days? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, as we mentioned, water boosting is usually just task only. But there's a couple like small tricks you can do with it, mostly in this side, honestly. Ooh. That's an unfortunate one. What? So blue eyes actually going. For, oh, I did go for five angles. No. No, not all five. No. That's that's for. There's a really, really precise trick in the screen that we're where you can actually just diagonal to all five of them. It's like way too precise. Yep. Um, you can do a couple of them like <laughs> somewhat easily, uh, but doing all five is just way too precise. Oh come on. So fun fact, this uh, ravine section was originally going to be in the A side. Imagine that would that. Be fun. Good luck. I do think they could have used like one or two more because it just feels kind of random, yeah. almost, in my opinion. But that's me. Uh, but yeah, they are very hard, so they do fit into the set more in that in that regard, at least. So now we're back to the uh, the bad line fight here for Psyched. Uh, we're gonna do a nice little corner jump there. Very very nice. Um, so this is just like. Uh, the bad line fight, but it has no floors. <laughs> a recurring theme in the B-Sage is like, floors are really not necessary for games. There's a lot of falling. And the bad line fight here has some really, really um, uh, it's called okay. brutal things. Brutal strats, brutal deaths, just everything is... Everything in, the, in this chapter especially is just brutal. Every room is long. Yeah. Gets you, ooh, that's important. He's trying to go for like a very precise thing, getting the coin, then immediately dashing up. Nicely done. That's also really, really precise. 
Yeah, you, one would one could say that uh, the B and the B side stands oh, for brutal. Yep, yep. Yeah. And the we'll C stands for mm, chaos. Uh, sure, I'll take. Uh, it. Ooh, that's. Um, uh, that is not. That is not very good. I've, I've no idea how to. I should have retried. Does the camera not go back? That's a no, no, it doesn't. No, no, no. It huh. doesn't you scroll back. Go back. Oh, today I learned, I guess. Like, this usually it's not going well for me. Usually the camera scrolls back, but this is like an exception. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, avoid everything. Oh come on, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, there's a couple rooms apart now. Like we really can't stress enough how, how hard these chapters are. So. Just and then, getting through them is, yeah, and then good. we're trying to go fast as well. Yeah, it's nice corner right there. There's a weird strat you can do there where you can actually just get the block immediately, but it's also like a dumb precise thing. Waiting a little bit here for the crystal gem to skip going away all the right, all the way to the right, and uh, just what? get up there. Right. Also, check this out on side screen right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is literally the great first time I don't get this. Hopefully, hopefully gets the. Oh, oh no! Come on. Let's see. There we go. That's just a lot of speed. It's really nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. Nice little going through bumpers here. It's gonna be used a little bit later as well in uh, in a seaside. I don't think it's used. It's not used. Uh, so you do it in, in A, right? Going through bumpers. Yeah, we've seen it in uh, A. Yeah. We do it once. Yeah. We do it once. In the seaside, you do it if you're a task. Mm. Oh, come on. Pretty much. Yeah. What? Oh. Ooh, the sink. What? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, We're I'm fixing for a moment. Ooh, there. Okay, you're fine. My strat's slightly slower here, just for consistency. Nice uh, reverse, ult reverse hyper ulter there. It's close. Oh, nice. yeah, oh, oh no. no. What? I heard you like long rooms. Yeah, this room that uh, Blue Eyes now in is uh, very long. Ooh, that was, that was close. Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice job. So, yeah, this room is like an incredibly long room and it's dying at like even even the midway point is incredibly brutal, just a little long at the end. Nice. That was like the fastest ultra. Ooh, you're fine. <laughs> okay, nice. Nice save. It's now both in the heart room here. There you go, Revo. Um, okay, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. Good job. I'm sorry, Revo, that I messed up your <laughs> favorite chapter so much. Oh, uh, <laughs> feel bad. Uh, 19 deaths, that is not good at all. You're fine. Wait, it's okay. All good. Are we? I think so. Yeah, so now we come up to seven. Uh, so just like with the regular summit, it's just like an amalgamation of hard things from all the chapters turned up to 11. Um, 7 11, I get it. Like, oh, that was not even that. Uh, nice. Um, where uh, was I? Okay. Yeah, so um, all the like segments are like three. I'm, I'm pretty sure all of them are three screens. No more. Four? Well, it depends. Does Just it differ? think about sea sites. No, no, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the different segments are of, of 7C are the same, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Am I just dumb? I can't be bothered I don't to count think so, no. right now. Huh. <laughs> Anyway, they're very short. Is my point. There, there's a couple of screens for each, or screens for each um, sub chapter. Uh, that's slow. But they're also just incredibly hard. Yep. Just like all the B sides, because that's fun. Uh. Tight fast yes. for the cycle. Very nice. I need to do casual. No, I can. Wait, can I make this? Mm. Yes. 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 Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Good save. Let me die immediately after. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that happens a lot. Welcome to Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Nice little uh, dash up there from the site. Very close oh, to. Uh, it's a very tight thing to do that. Reverse size mm -hmm. the word. Yeah. I have a, like a slower version of that. Yeah. There's two. There's gonna be more double jumps uh, out of green blocks. Just a lot of just a lot of dream blocks in general, honestly. 
Piper there at the end as well, very nice. This is a pretty precise little skip here you can do. Skip saying to go all the way to the right side for a second. Eh. Nice. It's a very small little, uh, you can do a very, very short wall jump at the end of the last screen and Pret save like having to go up a lot. Pretend it's the buff drop, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Oh yeah, that's true. Right. But then you don't lose 20 seconds if you die. Yeah. So far, very nice. Uh, yeah, my, my favorite screen, screen in, in, in the game. Oh, yeah. Up. yeah, that's a lie. It's the final screen of 1500. Seven Bs, um, 1500 is also like incredibly brutal, and yeah. the, the cycles are ridiculous, especially in the last screen. You'll you'll see. <laughs> Ooh, that's unfortunate. It's a very nice little skip you can do like underneath those um, the first two dust bunnies. Should probably mention like you're forced to jump out out of dream blocks here. Yeah. Because they expect you to master have mastered it in one chapter. Yeah, and they learn they teach you it in two B. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so it's used a lot more here. So this, this room right here, uh, that side has some ridiculously tight cycles. Very nicely done. That's really hard to do. If you mess up even slightly, you can just save. dash straight into any dust point at any point. We got more wind and bubbles. Oh, that's... Uh, okay. Oh, Ooh, come on. Where's my chat? Do I also in that very long, or very high room, I guess? It's so kind of weird, you have to like slow down at some points, be fast at some points to get the optimal cycle, it's very... It's a bit in unintuitive to try to speed on it, because you kind of want to go fast, but you can't really make the, the fastest in everywhere. Nice little... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Oh, I miss input all the time there. <laughs> you do a nice there little skip here, through here. Actually, you don't... Yeah, never mind. I forgot. There used to be a strat where you like fell back down and then dashed uh, all the way to the right, but I think that's slower? Is it? Yeah, it's slower. Slower. Very slightly slower. Okay. <laughs> I thought I would have died there. But we're good. It's done. It's what? actually about to finish up with the, uh, the temple here, so we're gonna get into 3k. And 3k uh, is actually a fairly long uh, sub chapter of, uh, of 7b. And has just a lot of really hard stuff as well. Nice corner jump there. Yeah, so 3k um, in this chapter is, is very, very brutal. Um, the wind especially like messes you up so much in this chapter. But wall bounces... We shouldn't actually have learned wall bounces yet in the game. Uh, we'll touch upon that very soon, but... What are wall bounces? I don't know. I, don't I guess know. we'll... I guess we'll... Hopefully we'll figure this out really quick. Really quickly. Because this uh, chapter especially... Like this is a segment that Psych is just, is just about to finish. It's really, really brutal if you don't know uh, wall bounces. You can skip a lot of it with just some, some like, simple dashes. Fairly simple. Getting into updraft now. Has some pretty precise dashing you need to do to get around uh, spikes like that, you know? This cloud right here. This cloud is like notorious, it's just like really weird. Just really tricky to get around. Yeah. We do casual strats there and it's still super precise to do. Yeah. It's possibly like one of the, the most like precise casual things in, in the game. Yeah. Like the casual well. strats. We're in 7B now, we're not casuals anymore. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I real. guess you can make that argument, but do you really wanna? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I felt that. There's a pretty long uh, screen, or like, long uh, flag again, here. Again. Has some really nice sure. uh, cloud skips. Because you can fall down pretty close to that wall and just make that, which is very nice. A couple of corner jumps here, and to the bubble on to the next one. Very nice done. So here we finally learn what wall, bo wall bouncing is. <laughs> um, immediately fuck it up. Never mind. Yeah, it's new tech. <laughs> yeah, it's, we'll, he we'll just there. learned it, guys. Like, come on. The cloud. It's free. So yeah, the, the game actually does teach you all the speed tech, which is a pretty interesting design choice, and I really like it. Uh, you'll see also, like, the hyper dashes are, are taught in a little bit later. Here's a nice demo dash. <laughs> nice. That is... <laughs> 
That is, yeah, sure, you can that is that's much good. easier than it, it's it looks. Easier it looks. It's still not like <laughs> completely free, but... It's freer than I skip. Yes. No. Wait, I, I want this I want this flag. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I skip was completely free. Yeah, imagine... I hear you back there. <laughs> imagine how free that's that one is. That's what the donations... <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait! I'm confused. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, wasn't that the guy who took 17 minutes learning ice skip when we got <laughs> it like in five? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> so we're, we're finished here. Oh wait, no, we're not. There's Psych more. <laughs> Psyched. Psyched out. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you had to. You had to do it. <laughs> I had. I had to. <laughs> it's too easy. It's, it, that was free. Don't choose words for your name. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is, um, that's a bit, like, this. I don't know really know why they made that, but it's like, yeah, the bubble is just hidden. Why because not? Nice it. Yeah. Good job. Good summon. <laughs> yeah, 715, that's good. good. So now we have Core B, and, uh, well, everything annoying about a Core A with what? having just two dashes just gets turned up to, like, 500 maybe? About there, 501 maybe? Yeah. This is a very, uh... It's a very hard chapter to speed on, especially. It just starts up with this screen, <laughs> which oh, is very nope. easy. It's very easy to do that. It's like, it's oh, it's on. just this screen alone is just really precise because you have to be like, what? It's very, like a couple of very specific dashes here to get around the fireball. Nice. nice. What? Flag two, please. Flag two is annoying. Deep breaths. Think of the feather. Ooh, nice. Think of the feather. <laughs> yeah, think of the feather. Here's a nice little strat here, you can... Ooh, never mind. You can fuck that up. Yeah, you can always... You can always easy to do. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Hypering of Lalux and, and those are... It's it's very yeah. interesting. Because um, as you mentioned, it's sort of like... It depends on your positioning, and... Even if if your positioning is just a little bit different each time, it can vary greatly in how you how the uh, Lalux decide to send you. It's kind of the same with the uh, Seekers in, in uh, Chapter 5, where it's just like... If you just move like a little bit differently, they'll just like be at completely different places. Ooh. Oh, okay. I have to hurry a bit. I'm off cycle. Ooh. Okay, I've made it. Nice. Yeah, Blue also finishing up seven C or seven B there. I wish it was seven C. <laughs> <laughs> I still got some more to do, man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You you do the berries. That's more impressive in my opinion. Uh, I don't know. So this is why we need the nice little cycle well. here for psyched. Uh, getting this like early cycle here uh, makes you able to keep your dash, and that makes this room uh, that's coming out, or ah, this room here a lot easier because you can just uh, skip the first part of it completely. It's very nice done. Not only easier, oh, also faster. On. Also faster, yeah, that's true. Good point. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Corby is just like a lot of like very precise stuff, um, like trying to make the most out of the two dashes you have in every room, more or less. Uh, no, put it. There, nice them. Okay, yeah, that works. These rooms are just. Uh, very annoying. <laughs> nice of them. A At least you can hold jump. That's the thing. Yeah, that's true. <gasps> Ooh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's such a long room too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. If you have some more donations, you could probably read a couple now. Well, I can uh, remind everyone that uh, oh, until no. the end of this run, if you manage to get the 23,000, <laughs> Therese and uh, Edgar promised to do a <laughs> performance of Baby Shark, so get to that. We are kind of getting close to the end here, I think. Ooh. That almost sounded nice. like you said, if we get to the end of this run. Like no, <laughs> if, 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 if we get there you. eventually, you know, tomorrow or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, it, I mean, it kind of is tomorrow, yeah. sort of. It is. No, lava blocks. We kind of forgot to mention, but uh, Psyched actually did very out of sequence things. Uh, in the last like couple rooms, it was supposed to be fire, but it was ice because he skipped things. It's faster. Yeah, it's faster. We'll talk about it when Blue Eye gets there, because it's yep. kind of weird otherwise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I completely rooms. forgot. ASS. 
green. Oh, almost spawned there. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, take that. That's good to go. Okay, nice. So we're gonna keep it ice. Yeah, we are. Okay. Keeping it cool. Exactly. Very funny joke. Very original. Side goes back there to get uh, the uh, like actually get a dash at the start to make this a lot faster. So you can actually skip that that thing and just uh, make it stay oh. ice. Do this. Ooh. You do that corner dump, or corner boost there that it's like try to do. Let's see if it gets it. Oh. Oh, it is three pixels, so let's see. Oh, okay, never mind. All right. Go for the backup. Yeah, we'll see if Blue gets it. You can corner jump or corner boost off that end there, and then just barely make it up. It's um, pretty neat. Now we also have our dashes back. Finally freed them. Um, when you have too many dashes, sometimes things just happen. You know, Psych just got a bit too excited that he just finally got his dashes back, which do we, happens. Do we make the joke or not? I, uh, I on purpose did not. <laughs> I feel like I already uh, used my like one bad we joke. Made so many jokes this weekend. Oh, so that's eighth B. We're gonna sit under. Okay. All right. Season so time. here's where I keep it ice. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So right here. Uh, usually this would be fire and you would use it, but we can just sort of skip that and that makes the next s uh, segment a little bit faster. So you can just use this yes. to get your uh, stamina back and then make it up there. And then you go back to fire. So here we go with seasides. Also, these this just speaks for himself mostly. Uh, there's like a one thing that we kind of want to touch upon, but just sit back and enjoy this because these are really nice. Also, shoutouts to One B, the best music track in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop lying to yourself. No, I'm gonna try no something. I'm just a hipster. Ooh, okay, that was Ooh, that's one we'll to close. <laughs> so all the seasides here are three screens except one, but it's still sort of three screens. We'll, we'll, get, that, we'll get to that. Um, just ri ridiculously brutally hard levels that are just here. They also kind of uh, you know stretch the idea of a screen. Yeah, that's, that's very true. There are some very very long rooms. All right, I'm gonna try to keep it ice here. Yeah. Please get it. I didn't. <laughs> What, you, so there is a strat in this room that's like now is in that is uh, very very tricky strat yeah. where you do coin less, but good thing I died. just for consistency's sake we're just gonna take all the coins. <laughs> all right, so by right. keeping an eye here, let's see if he gets this corner uh, uh, corner boost here. Ooh no! Oh, I'm try again. Let's see, <sighs> that was just too low. One more try, you got this. Oh man. I'm I'm determined. I can. You're it. determined. You got this. <laughs> oh, Ooh, what? Slightly too high. There, there we go. go. Nice. nice. Very nice. Done. Yeah, you can buff that. It's really good. And now this room is ice. Wait, what? <laughs> it doesn't actually change anything. It just makes the colors a little bit bluer. I like you... blue spikes more. Okay. Yeah. Sure. That's fair. Uh, Psych like there is actually in, in all the seas. It's actually a little bit of interesting things because this recently got changed in a patch. Uh, usually it was just one dust plane where, where he just was. But now there's two, for, for reasons. I, I don't really know why, but there is. We don't really know. No, it's like we need more dust bunnies because that's 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 good. Because uh, more, more crystal. Previously, they wanted you to bop Oshiro one more time. Ah, uh, okay. I get it. Yes. So here's also you can see like bubbles are actually just dashes because you can use them to wall jump there. Um, they just work as dashes basically. So you can do fun things with them. What? Okay. If you get a call, if you get a, a one donation, you can probably read it now. Uh, sure, we have two hundred dollars from oh. Lord Darker. Oh. I'm happy to help with such a great cause. Oh God! <laughs> great timing. <laughs> Sorry. <about that>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your donation, it's very nice of you. Very kind of everyone who's donated in this marathon. There we go. What? 
So 5C is kind of interesting uh, just because it has, it has like probably what is the hardest room at the, the very start. It's a very, very like a couple of very precise wall jumps here. Oh, come on. What? what? That was weird. The deep breaths. Um, can you do can that? Save this? Oh yeah, you can. Yeah. Nice. Save. That's a save. save. Good job. That room is very easy. <laughs> Just for no reason. Probably be easiest seaside room to be honest. Yeah, it really is. It's just it's just dash up and press jump. It teaches you mechanics. Yeah, that's that true. Are very important. So here's some more wall monsters here. Also, they changed this seaside. Uh, most notably, there's a spring down below that you can use to save yourself if you're if you're ready for if it. If you're bad. <laughs> or if you miss just mess up because that's the thing you can actually do in this game. Yeah, because you're bad. Do you want to talk about how many deaths you've had? Cause too probably, many. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, I, we always had too many deaths, probably, depending on who you ask. So this uh, seaside that like this now actually has a pretty interesting thing in the end, where you do a very out of sequence, like, Kevin thing. Um, we're going to see him dashing the, the Kevin to go up, and then all the way back down. Usually we'd like, ha have to use Kevin several times during the level and try to like get him through all the crevices and to get yourself to the end, but you can just do, like... You can just do this. Oh, that's too far right, apparently. So. Apparently. There, and then right. you just go below him here. Fast a little bit. And then you use him to get to the end. Which saves like just a lot of time. Ooh, no, that's over. That was bad. Unless death. you die. Ugh. That hurts. That's, yeah, that's what happens. Ooh. There we go. Also, pretty nice right here. We're going through bumpers again. You can actually do that with second one too, but it's a lot more precise. There we go. I see them. So now we have a uh, seven. Seven C. The infamous seven C. Which is uh, casually is like probably the hardest. Yeah, probably. I, I think it's the, the hardest. It's, it's the hardest. For some, it's core. Yeah. I think it look, looks the most. Probably the hardest well. C set for it's most. It's just the final screen. Yeah, the final screen is very brutal because it's like basically all trying and error and trying to learn how how it goes. Because it's like just a lot of very precise dashes. All right, you know what? Casual strats. Let's go. I remember spending about one and a half hours to just complete this one screen in seven seconds. Yes. Yeah. It's took me something around the same time for me. Yeah. It's brutal. Possibly even a little more. I don't quite remember. So it's, it's been a while now. Hope it doesn't take one and a half hours today. Hopefully. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> That would be quite something. What about that delay, right? Spring. Okay. Thank you, Matt, for the spring. Yeah. Also changed a little bit in the seaside. So there was like an extra dash you can do diagonal. Nice. Very nice done. Does that death well, slice? That's really good. Yeah. Very nice done. There's one more seaside to go here for Sykes. So we'll have time coming up. We have the buttons. I don't know what I'm saying. So I tend to choke a little bit here. Let's see uh, how it happens. Goes. I believe in you. I have choked a lot of PBs. Too. I believe in you, Sykes. You can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that will help. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, the last strat, uh, the last room does have a really nice strat. Um, it's a couple of hypers in, or a hyper bunny hop in the start. We'll see it. Oh, it's slow. So, Blue Eyes also now on the Kevin strat here. Got it. Nice it on. Nice. Thank you that there's a checkpoint here. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a checkpoint there. There's actually the only you know, thing that's right. I do not intend to show it, by the way. Well, there we go. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's like just did the uh, the high point of skipping like three sections of this really, really, really long room. This room is basically divided into sections of all the different mechanics that's been right. in the game. Still okay. 60. I think this is the longest stream in the game as well. Um, yeah, I'd I'm say 7C sure. actually. You think so? Time wise, probably not. Home stretch here. And when he collects his heart, it should be. And that is. Time. time. Nice. That's 146. I don't know if it does anything. Hopefully it does. It should. All right, we have Blue Eye finishing up here, just in 7C.
Guess you can go show the journal. Yeah, go to the journal. Times. Nice. Nicely done. With Deathless. Very nice. Soon. Is that both the Deathless and Summon? Yeah. Nice. Super done. solid. Both sub one minute. Very yeah, good. Oh yeah, we had a couple of quit outs, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Sadly, like, Spicy missed a berry in Summit. Uh, because of that, we don't have a time for a full clear. It's I not needed for the category, but no. it's cool to have. And yeah. also, I messed up Bob's drop in Mirror Temple B. Oh yeah, you can hyper, have a Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is where the game actually teaches you how to, how to hyper. Yeah, literally so. in the last... <laughs> the very, very last thing last you unlock. Level. There we go, last room as well. Keep an eye for this track, because it's hot as hell. Whee! And now it's also cool. Got it. Nice. Oh, what? <laughs> Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh, that's, that was interesting. Yeah. So yeah, this room is also like one of the really brutal ones, just because it's so easy to mess up at any time. I don't know how did that spike, honestly. That was a bit weird. That was his first kill, I'm sure. Sorry? Of the spike. <laughs> A little bit for a Last cycle. Trick coming up. There we go. All right, nice. We go. And that's time. Nice. Great. Time. Maybe? No. Maybe no. 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 Alright. No time. I, I, okay. No time. <laughs> no time. It, it's been okay, time, so we promise. Basically, two hours <laughs> flat. Yeah. yeah. That's that was pretty good. Good job, guys. We were aiming for sub two. Uh, well, I mean, RTA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But we got a grand total of. Yeah, look so. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that's that very unit. satisfying. Beautiful journal. <laughs> All right, uh, so that was Celeste. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you're interested at all in learning this game, be sure to like check out the SRC. There's guides. There's a link to the Discord where there's a ton of helpful people to help you learn everything about the game. Uh, obviously, you don't have to start up with this category because so it's a kind of a brutal one. I know. Uh, but any percent is very nice to learn. Um, mm -hmm. And it's a really great game, so I just recommend playing it anyway because it's, it's a fantastic game. Uh, chapter 9, please. Chapter uh, 9 <laughs> went. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we hope you enjoyed and we hope you enjoyed the, the rest of the marathon. Some really cool runs both coming up today and, uh, and also yep. tomorrow. So be sure to stick around. Also, shout out to the Celeste Discord, the corner fuckers. <laughs> uh, you're a really great community. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that's been it for us. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you for having us.
Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to ESA Winter 2019. I'm Sharice and this is Eidgod. Hi. Do, do. Yeah, yeah. Hi. We just uh, watched this <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Uh, the two versus two player race. Uh, that was definitely quite something to watch. And next up will be Yoka Laylee, any percent. Also a race between Hedgeback and Ai Kainalo. <laughs> Hopefully that was correct. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so. You said you were pretty excited for it, Celeste. How did you like it? Yes, it was, it was really cool. Um, do you guys know, I don't know if the, this is spoiling. I, I don't think so, everyone's watched it. But like... Uh, <laughs> they just saw <laughs> it. I know. Um, do you guys know the beautiful message that Celeste has in general? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try not to mess it up. But it's basically... You're gonna struggle to climb the mountain and you're gonna fail a lot, but you're also gonna learn from it. So it's like a message of like, keep going, you know? Like, uh, okay, maybe not. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes sense. I mean, life is just a, lots of failures repeated. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully not repeated, but a lot of failures in a row. Until eventually it works out, maybe. Life is hard. It is. And on that depressing note, <laughs> <laughs> we had a <laughs> donation earlier <laughs> from Spiriales donating $28 saying, here's a dollar for each seaside death, which seems to be 28. I didn't exactly keep that close of account, but I'm sure that's correct. And... Yeah. I'd, I'd hope so. <laughs> Thank you for those generous $28. We did not make the $23,000. Um, so we don't have to So sing. you don't have to and we don't have to. Yeah, you dance and I sing, but it, uh, thank God, because we didn't, well. I mean, I also mean the viewers don't have to experience it. We don't have to do it. Thank yeah, God. It's indeed. a win-win. But it's also a lose. Aww. We did actually practice a bit. but We did. We were actually going to speed run it. <laughs> you you can't. You're teasing them more and more. Now they're gonna be like. Ah. Well, it was gonna be like a speed thing. I guess. We're, we're gonna have a counter and everything, like but the timer. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but I yeah. practiced really hard. <laughs> wow! Now you're going a bit far with the. <laughs> but I did practice a lot. You did practice. I practiced like, I was I was playing Jew beat and I was singing the song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, that didn't happen. So. Wow. It did happen. No, I mean... Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. I thought you were, you know... I wouldn't call you out like that. <laughs> it wouldn't be a first time. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, in anyways, um, after Yoka lately, we also have Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy coming up. And... I take it we met the the golfer death? Or not? Uh, no, it's not think so because it's not there anymore yeah it's not there so anymore. we probably will get that extra content there so mm -hmm. good job for uh getting that and also there are prizes to be won exactly uh, i was just about to say that yeah let's see <laughs> um yeah so <laughs> yeah from from uh, one of anyone, our sponsors yeah, sonic anyone that donates uh 20 dollars or more yes is eligible to win a viewsonic xg2 40R, I take it that's a monitor. I, I, mean, I think they are our monitor sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what type of monitor in particular, <laughs> but it's a monitor. So yes. it should be really cool. I wouldn't be too surprised if it is one of the ones we're using, but Probably. then again, uh, I'm also not a monitor expert. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can win a few Sonic XG240R, and you need to donate at least $20 for that. I also think uh, it's a cumulative, if I remember correctly. So um, as long as you have donated twenty dollars total in some form uh, mm -hmm. that still counts okay okay I think we're not quite ready yet do you want to talk a bit more do you wanna um. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I Wanna be know. awkward? Uh, <laughs> Wanna have an awkward no, pause? N- no, I just don't have anything okay. to add. Well, well in that case, uh, we'll send you guys to the room cam and Yoka Laley, any percent on the PC between Hedwig versus I Kai Nalo. Uh, we'll Could start you say that any slower? <laughs> it's it's hard, okay? It's a hard name. I Kai Nalo. Well, you heard it twice before. Anyways, uh, that will be coming okay. up soon. So uh, we'll send you to the room cam and it should start any minute. Thank you. I need it a bit higher. <laughs> really? Yes. Huh. Because Fancy. you guys are really loud compared to everything else.